Let us understand the concept of blocks in HDFS. When we store a file in HDFS, the file gets split into chunks of 128 MB. Except for the last block, all other blocks will have 128 MB in size. The last block may be less than or equal to 128 MB depending on the file size. The default block size is configurable. Let us say we want to store 560 MB file in HDFS. This file will be split into four blocks, each of 128 MB and one block of, that means there will be five blocks in total. So, what are the advantages of splitting the file into blocks? It helps fitting big file into small disks. It leaves less unused space on every data node. It optimizes the file transfer. Also, it distributes the load to multiple machines. Let us say a file is stored on 10 data nodes and whenever a user accesses the file, the load gets distributed to 10 machines instead of one machine. It is very similar to movie downloading using a torrent. The movie file gets broken down into small pieces and these pieces gets downloaded from multiple machines parallelly. It helps in downloading the movie faster. Let us understand HDFS replication. Each block has multiple copies in HDFS. A big file gets split into multiple blocks and every block gets stored to three different data nodes. This is called replication. The default replication factor is three. Please note that no two copies will be on the same data node. Generally, first two copies will be on the same rack and third copy will be off the rack. A rack is an Elmira where we stack the machines and all of these machines are in a local area network. It is advised to set replication factor to at least three so that even if something happens to the rack, one copy is always safe. We can set the default replication factor of the whole file system as well as for each and every file individually. For files which are not important, we can decrease the replication factor and for the files which are very important, we should increase the replication factor. Whenever a data node goes down or fails, the name node instructs the data nodes which have copies of lost blocks to start replicating these blocks to the other data nodes so that each file and directory again reaches the replication factor assigned to it. 